Hi folks, what I've got here is an Amtrak P42 Genesis from MTH and we're going to check it out today on Eric's Trains. Alright, so for today's unboxing I'll be using my Kaiser Beg Lighter. This is a really beautiful folding knife. And I'm using this because this actually arrived the same day as this engine. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Alright, so there's the end of the box. This is the Amtrak Wave paint scheme, by the way. In case you couldn't see it on the end of the box. Oh, got it upside down. There we go. And there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, let's get it on the track. All right, here it is on the layout, looking good. Now, before we get into the MTH model that we have here, let's go over just a little bit of history on the real Genesis. The General Electric Genesis is a series of passenger diesel locomotives produced by GE Transportation between 1992 and 2001. A total of 321 units were built for Amtrak, Metro North, and Via Rail. The Genesis series of locomotives was designed by GE in response to a specification published by Amtrak and ultimately it was selected over a competing design presented by EMD. The Genesis series are the lowest North American diesel electric locomotives and by lowest I mean lowest in height and this height restriction allows the locomotives to travel easily through the low profile tunnels in the Northeast Corridor. The Genesis series utilized a specially designed car body intended to make it lighter, more aerodynamic, and more fuel efficient than its predecessors such as the F40PH, F59PH, and others. This design made the Genesis locomotives 22% more fuel efficient than the F40PH while producing 25% more horsepower. However, this special design did have a downside in that it made these locomotives a bit more costly and time consuming to do maintenance and repair on. But on the other hand, because each Genesis unit is a fully computerized locomotive which automatically controls all onboard functions, in the end reliability is very high and maintenance costs end up being reduced. There were three Genesis models built by GE, the P40DC, the P42DC, and the P32ACDM, and of course the model we have here is of the P42DC. The real P42DC has a top speed of 110 miles per hour and makes 4,250 horsepower. Now, although the Genesis locomotives have been reliable workhorses for Amtrak for almost 30 years now, they are naturally starting to show their age, and so Amtrak has had to plan for their eventual replacement. And to that end, in late 2018, Amtrak placed an order for 75 of the new Siemens chargers with an option to purchase another 100 under the same contract. All right, now let's talk about the MTH model of the P42 that we have here. So MTH offered this latest rendition of the P42 Genesis in their 2019 Volume 2 catalog, and these were delivered not too long ago in January of 2020. Now in that catalog, they offered five different paint schemes, all Amtrak. They did the wave paint scheme that we have here, and then they also did four other paint schemes. They did phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four Amtrak paint schemes. And all four of those are the ones that celebrate the 40th anniversary of Amtrak from 1971 to 2011. 
Going over some stats and features on this model, the length is right at 16 and a half inches. The weight is four pounds, 15 ounces. This model has two pounds, eight ounces of pulling power, which is pretty good. And the minimum curve needed to operate this engine is 031. So this is an engine that is very friendly to layouts with tight curves. This model is driven by two vertically mounted flywheel motors, one above each truck. And there are two traction tires on the inner axle of each truck. We've got electrocouplers at either end of the engine, operating headlights and marker lights at either end. There's a fan-driven smoke unit for the smokestack, and then we've got Protosound 3.0 with MTH's digital command system on board. When it comes time to operate this engine, the preferred method is going to be to use MTH's digital command system, or DCS, as that will give you access to all of the engine's advanced features and functions. However, you can also run this engine conventionally with just a transformer and some track. This engine also comes with DCC on board. However, DCC typically doesn't come into play with a three rail model. Let's talk about some standout features on this model. The truck side frames are die cast metal and they're very nicely done. We've got some see-through metal vents all over the model. The paint job is flawless, which is par for the course for MTH. There's a nicely detailed fan on the top of the engine. There are two hand-painted crew figures in the cab, and that cab is illuminated. And the lighting on either end of the model looks pretty spiffy as well. And that leads us into the last thing we're going to do before we start this thing up, which of course is BFIMO. Best feature in my opinion. Well, my favorite feature on the P42 Genesis here is the passenger freight announcement sequence. Now, it's really not that much different than any other MTH PFA sequence on a passenger train engine, but the announcements are crisp and clear and very easy to understand, and I like that. And also, it gives a specific name to this train. In this case, it's the Texas Eagle. All right, let's go ahead and start this thing up by using the magic word, abracadabra. sequence in just a moment.
stop is Melbourne, Hot Springs National Park. Be careful on the step. Have a nice day. Thank you. May I take your baggage? Ticketed passengers only. Let me help you. Now departing for Dallas, on track one, train number 421, the Texas Eagle. Pardon me. Hurry up now. Be careful on the step. that about wraps it up for this review. I really like this engine. The Genesis has been on my list of items to get for a long time. I know a lot of you fans have requested that I get one and so I'm glad that I finally picked one up. I'm really happy with it. If you're interested in picking one of these up, the retail price is right at $520, but keep in mind that is the full retail price. If you go through a good MTH dealer, you can probably get a little bit of a discount off that retail price. Anyway, if you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. You can do that through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ericstrains. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world, not only to me, but to the future of this channel. And then finally, if you'd like to pick up some Eric's Trains merchandise, including t-shirts and stuff, check out my online store at www.ericstrains.com store. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.